There's a girl that you might know She's a friend, at least I tell you so But it might surprise you to find There's something going on behind the door These are oyster mushrooms. Many of the anti-HIV AIDS cocktails have a side effect of uh, causing a hyperaccumulation of cholesterol. This mushroom has a natural form of levostatin and NIH funded us specifically to uh, see if your bad cholesterol would be reduced if AIDS patients consume these mushrooms. This is a lion's mane mushroom and it has aranacines, a novel nerve growth stimulant factor that cause brain neurons to regrow. This is turkey tail. This is one of the guardians of the forest. This mushroom is the subject of the clinical study that we've been funded for, for breast cancer. This is a, a maitake mushroom. It's a, been used for, for treating diabetes. The reishi mushrooms are one of the best known mushrooms in Asia because they have anti-inflammatory properties. And for thousands of years, these mushrooms have been used by royalty and by sages and boiled in tea and water to make teas. This is a mushroom called Hypholoma subladericium kuritake. And it's very similar to this mushroom, which is called Agrosibi agarita, piopinos. Piopinos are my favorite edible cultivated mushroom. No one is growing them here in this, in this country that I know of, except for us. And this is a delicious, delicious edible mushroom. Shiitake! Lots of shiitake. Wow, look at them. And these are all little baby shiitake. And these mushrooms will be this big around in about 48 hours. What? Yeah, so it's an explosive rate of growth. The presence of frogs in our growing rooms is a good bioindicator of a healthy and clean environment. But we don't have to use any pesticides because we have these tree frogs and they take, I've, been, I've heard between 50 to 200 flies a day out of the air. The phrase toadstool came from. Frogs sit on the mushroom and they don't, they can, the flies come in in different directions and the frogs just zap them out of the air. Okay, go for it. Okay. Yeah. Most people don't realize that mycelium is everywhere. Now what is mycelium? And here it is right here. If you look on the ground, you'll see wood chips. But you spread the wood chips apart, and there's the mycelium. Oh my god! They reduce the wood chips, and ultimately they make soil. So you dig down here, and you have dirt. Now this pile of wood chips used to be this thick. And so the mycelium is digesting the wood chips, going like this, but the soil depth then is increasing like this. Mycelium are virtually in every landscape in the world and has so many properties that are useful for habitat restoration, for improving the immune system of people. And I believe habitats, environments, have immune systems just like people. These fungi and these mycelial mats are essential for the immune system and we need to engage mycelium to help repair much of the damage that we have inflicted upon nature. Those cool. Little squatters, huh? Cute. The shiitake. These are delicious. These are so good. Really a pretty species. And I call these brains. Maitake brains. This is lion's mane mushroom. It tastes like lobster or shrimp. And these are oyster mushrooms. You simply push them down, snap off, nice and clean.
Now we're putting our five species of mushrooms all together. Voila! Mm -hmm. How come mushrooms have to be cooked? Because otherwise the cells are not digestible by the enzyme in your stomach. Uh, mushrooms have up to 40% protein. They're rich in uh, vitamin Bs. They're an excellent source of vitamin D. They produce more vitamin D than any other land-based organism in the world. By the way, we have to cook this onion. Oh my god, why did that onion get that big? Because we, uh, our friend used some mycorrhizal spores with the onion, and, uh, and he did a row with the spores and onions together, and a row with, the, with just the onions, and all the entire row that had the spores of this mycorrhizal fungus produced onions this big, and the other row was <laughs> really small. I think it, you're just holding it really close, but yeah. you're not. It's actually that big. Huge. <laughs> Button mushrooms are thought by many experts to be highly carcinogenic when they're digested, which can cause uh, tumors and abnormal cell divisions. It's a unique um, chemical that's in button mushrooms and portobellos. They, they are very much analogous to smoking a cigarette, except the agaritines cause tumors all over your body as opposed to just in your lungs. Color. Mushrooms satisfy that meat-like instinct that we have. Damn. Mm -hmm. The mushrooms are incredible. Mm -hmm.